This episode of Chins and Giggles is brought to you by McDonald's. Listen, guys, McDonald's knows that every person has their own list of ultimate McDonald's fan truths. Maybe it's that McDonald's is absolutely required if you're going on a road trip. Or maybe you believe there's no greater sense of urgency than making it to McDonald's in time for breakfast on a Sunday morning. That is so me. For us, our favorite McDonald's fan truths are if you're going on a late night drive with your friends, you have to stop by for a McFlurry. Girl, I gotta have me the Oreo one because it's just delicious. Yeah, and that quick stop to the Mickey D's drive through turns into an hour of quality time family meal if multiple Garcias are involved. McDonald's, everyone has an order. Go get yours today. Da 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 No! 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 no we were on no, tour. Sorry, 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 <laughs> that's good y'all so we're um <laughs> today we are the adams family as y'all can tell <laughs> from should the intro should we introduce who we are <clears throat> i karina am um gomez i elizabeth i am morticia his wife uh, i'm wednesday <laughs> adams um, I am Uncle Fester. Uncle Fester. <laughs> After the That's garlic sleeve. After the garlic sleeve. <laughs> what is up with Peter saying garlic sleeve? The it's garlic gastric sleeve. No. sleeve. <laughs> I'm glad you. I'm glad you cleared it up. I thought you were Caillou. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, bitch, I'm crying. I am kind of disappointed at these costumes. Like last week was like so fucking epic, and then well, Here the last we two week, uh, two weeks ago, it was well, giving. Two weeks ago, it was giving, and then. <laughs> here we are imagine i actually the like your guys' DIY costumes dude. i think they're iconic i think we did really good i mean for the, the DIY, diy moment of it all like, i think we look iconic iconic we mm. diy'd it because um we we kind of forgot to order our costumes so, so i don't um, know what the i'm actually y'all know this is not actually the gomez bless <laughs> really My bad. Bless this is not even the gomez costume this is actually i think it's a pimp <laughs> oh it's i like thought that one was it this is a pimp costume but then i got a, a wig uh-huh. And my wig is actually laid. a long wig, so Gomez has a little man bun okay. going on. <laughs> You're giving very much papi vibes, and I'm living for her. Vibes. So how do I look, I y'all? I, like, I actually love it. I think you look very nice. <laughs> like, 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 <laughs> She's like, I'm trying to fuck. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> what do y'all think? How do I look? How do I, I look? love it. I love I'm, it. I'm, I'm attracted. I'm getting like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I guess you probably like I'm trying to fuck shit. Ooh, uh, <laughs> not created looking like a man. Yeah, like, like don't, don't take it, like girl. That's all. That's all it took. <laughs> girl, so, Eliza Beach, tell us about your costume. So I'm wearing a very mortician, I don't know, black mm-hmm. long sleeve dress. Period. Wearing my beautiful natural I don't know, black <laughs> hair as always, and then I did. The very, you know, crazy eyebrows that she has. Mm -hmm. And I just kind of try to do my makeup like her because I know I was going to be a fat Morticia. So I was like, (laughs) (laughs) I was like, okay, isn't she like really thin? How the fuck is this going to work? You look iconic. But anyways, I try my best. I love gained a little bit of weight. I don't know if you should gain a little bit of weight. You look great, I'm living for the widow's peak. (laughs) It's all (laughs) It's it's like humongous. Oh my God, wait, I forgot. I couldn't forget. I forgot your rose. Oh. Cause I know, oh my god, I'm not my so like that. I forgot your rose, so I'm gonna give you my titty. Like, uh, <laughs> so I know Gomez is supposed to be really romantic. I forgot your rose, but I did get your favorite paleton. Aww, sweetheart. Hey, what's up? 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 Not as a character. Chuck, you like start writing me like what? Thank you, sweetheart. Like I'm hungry. Oh, now they're really gonna go to YouTube. Now they want to see it. Yeah, <laughs> <my God. laughs> 
You guys um, have to head to YouTube to look at the visuals. Yeah, yes, crazy. we look hilarious. If you are listening, you're gonna die to see Peter's costume because he looks so iconic. <laughs> so iconic. <laughs> Can we tell them about the wig cap? Okay, what about the wig cap? <laughs> I mean the bald cap. <gasps> what about the bald cap? <laughs> the the fact that one ear is like tucked in and the other one isn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the like fact that it looks like a condom. Like what? what? I look like Why a thumb. A I look like a sore thumb. I don't know. It's giving very <laughs> much great. Great. alien. I think it's iconic. <laughs> I, Uncle Fester definitely lost 50, 100 pounds for sure. <laughs> <laughs> With all these wrinkles, girl. I need Botox. She got two garlic <laughs> sleeves for, the, for that information. Two garlic sleeves? I love it. Uh, garlic sleeves? But it's very Not much true, DIY. Mama. It's giving no budget, but she ate it. <laughs> <laughs> no budget, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I fucked up because... Um, I had I uh, had Lupita pick up the bald cap, but I forgot to tell her to get the glue. <laughs> so he had to use like black glue, like for the from the oh one my that God. you use for like la- for extensions. No, oh you know God. the glue that like that black glue that's yeah, the really, really strong. Really, the really, yes, for too, but. I know which one you're talking about. It's like the thick one. But anyway, it kept the bald <laughs> cap in, but it looks like my hair is <laughs> peeking out. But it's honey, it's not my hair. It's just the lash glue. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tuck it back in. Let me tuck it in. I iconic. think you look iconic. Do would if you saw me though in the streets, would you get it? I would. I would get it. <laughs> I would get it immediately. See it? I would get I would it. Your penis. Okay. I did with a condom. She, <laughs> <laughs> well, she ate that. <laughs> I'm the cutest penis you'll ever see. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm Wednesday and um, <laughs> you give me very I much Tuesday have, energy, like, <laughs> right? I didn't even have like the dress, so I just put like a shirt with a white shirt under. We literally DIY'd our costumes. And my fucking widow's peak, bitch. I'm sorry. I felt like it's just I don't know what it's iconic. Giving. You know what though? Dracula? When sometimes when you DIY the costume, it turns out the most like ah, I see. I it. I think iconic. I love the fact that it's DIY'd. Yeah, it's like we could still tell who's who, but yeah. <laughs> it's not like so lost in the sauce. But like, <laughs> like I'm definitely a washed you know, up condom. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I think I would. Washed up condom. Sorry. I would definitely know what we are if I saw us in the street, mm-hmm. right? Mm. <laughs> All the crickets mm. like a fat gangster. <laughs> Oh, oh my god! The like, silence in the room is hair. speaking. <laughs> I spray painted my hair because my hair is blonde. Oh, that's true. And my ends, bitch. I couldn't like you know. But <laughs> we love how, 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 y'all living for the black hair, or yeah. I'm living for I'm it. living for the black hair, Queen. sister. Living you know I like you in dark. I love hair. your black hair. <laughs> you know, I really, really, I like you in dark. Period. <laughs> Dies it tonight, like why? But yeah, I don't Dies know. I mean, I don't know. It is what it is. Huh? Me over here hating my costume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was the easiest good. costume. First praying, of all, she didn't even have makeup on. I just threw a little bit on. I, I well, literally we're supposed to be all dead. Yeah, yeah. And then she's like really pale, so I put like white foundation. I um, did my makeup so fast. I feel like the only makeup that looks like amazing is yours, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, yeah. I put a little bit of glitter. There's so much effort that went into her. Not she me at work, like, eyebrows. with my freaking eyebrows glued back. Like, why? <laughs> the widow's peak of it all, girl. <laughs> the, wi- the huge widow's peak. Of it. <laughs> I thought that was natural. I thought it was just there. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was like, like, I thought it was a baby hair. Now I know <laughs> what, what, what's his name? Guzmo? Guzmo? What? Gomez? Gomez sees. Like, now I know what Gomez sees. Oh, my God. Not <laughs> Uncle Fester going after too, Morticia. Girl, what? what? I said, not Uncle Fester going after Morticia. <laughs> What's going on? Wait, Uncle, you want to fight? I know. I know. I know. You don't don't kill me, me, Uncle Fester. Have you, you guys actually me. seen the movie? I've seen. Never. I've seen parts of the the actual like regular Adam's family, and then I've seen the cartoon one. I feel like Brian you know has seen it, and I probably I've have seen, seen it, it in the background. I've seen it a couple times as a kid and stuff, but like as <laughs> now, too. not really. Like I've seen yeah. it several times, and like, and it's just playing in the background. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I haven't actually like paid attention to it like that. I had to Same. Google it. <laughs> I, had, I had to Google my own name. I, I was no, confused about if like the that. movie the came out first or if there's a show. show. Cause you know there's like a TV show about us too. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yeah, I was like, like, I was like, no, the wrong like, other one. <laughs> <laughs> the Adam's the family. Second one, girl. <laughs> the second one. The first one. No. Well, happy Halloween, y'all. <laughs> I was gonna be Pungsley, but you know, decided to be the uncle, so we're here. We need to like for next week, we need to like end it on a good one because that'll be the last Halloween costume. Yeah, give us suggestions. So y'all please below. suggest on the most iconic. Comment down below right now. Somebody said Monster High, and I think that would be so iconic too. Monster That's High. Everything. Why did okay, so Karina messages me. Well, in the group chat, I don't know if you guys saw it. Oh, She's yeah, over here right. telling us Monster High. And it confused me with Monsters University. So I was thinking Monsters like Inc. Monsters Inc. 
<laughs> but when she when it said hi, I'm like, I guess she's referring to I want to be Mike was asking. Hi, why is she not saying Monster University? You know, I mean, what? No, she's no. talking about like Dracula Monster and like. So my dumbass was like, oh, I'll be Mike Wazowski. <laughs> so now I feel like we got to do the Monsters Inc. When I feel like. Oh, not my phone. Sorry, <laughs> we were supposed to turn off our phones. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> I didn't turn it off because of the. I don't know. I think it'd be we would end it with a bang and we were Monsters Inc. But <laughs> all whack like why? Okay. I just think it would be a funny inside joke. So it's got to be like something iconic. No one could come in here like dressed up as Boo. No, I want something yeah. like no, I, don't I want boo. Kitty. <laughs> I Wazowski was a good one. The, the good one. evil lizard girl. Yeah, we need some cute uh-huh. shit. Cute shit. We need some creepy shit. I would definitely be Mike Wazowski. So hands down, hands the one eye. Yeah, the one. We'll figure queen. it out then. We'll figure so we'll it out, see. Orange. How the fuck do you? We can't DIY that shit. <laughs> no, oh, no, we're not about to <laughs> DIY that. Because then I would have been having three eyes if I try to put. Hold on, another. but are we really doing the? You guys want to do Monster Z? I no, it ain't even that spooky. No, it's yeah. not spooky. I, thought, I just thought it was funny because of that, but we don't have. It's to like grow. iconic too. Mm. Mm. We'll figure it out, y'all. Please leave your suggestions. It'll be a surprise. So yeah, <laughs> how'd you guys like like the last Skinny Tober episode? Like the one iconic. we, the first one we filmed of the month. I watched it four I watched or three it times already. So like, it was so lie. much fun. I, I love so every times. single episode of all of us. It's so hilarious. Aww. We're all such a good time. The vibes. We're too. literally like you were so quiet, Peter, in the first one. Yeah, I was so high. I want to get everyone to know. Like, I think everyone saw it in my eyes, too. I was <laughs> faded Peter. off my ass. I didn't even know I was sitting here. Like, I would look at the cameras and be like, how am I here right now? Like, there would be times yeah. where I have like such like an out of body experience, but I was living for it. But like now, like people were commenting. They were like, Peter's so quiet. Yeah. Now. Like, what's going so on? He's changed. I was like, he's high as fuck. He's yeah. Like, like girl, he's just high as. he just needs to not smoke so much before the podcast. I'm done. <laughs> Uh, it was inc- I mean I watched it many times too I just was, was living so for good. the vibes yeah. yes like even the costumes were so spot on mm-hmm. it was iconic it was really <laughs> I can't even hair flip right now cause <laughs> <laughs> you can see your hair flip <sighs> it'll flip in there somewhere it's flipping uh, <laughs> you just hear flipping. it I should have been the what is it called thing Oh no, the hand! No, that's the hand. You What's the one? The hand, I know how I should do the hand. What should have been the one with that's the hair? Like his whole body is like hair, and he's like. Oh my god, oh. that one's iconic. Yeah, it like, would give me. I don't know if it would give me the ring or <laughs> the, that one. Though. Give me very much it would ring be hard vibes. To like replicate that one mm-hmm. yeah. for sure. Maybe we could come as like our our scary like our. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Maybe I would come as the ring the next episode. Oh, oh my god! Ooh. Why don't we do like our favorite scary movie like characters? The, like, yes. scary movie characters. You could be the ring. I'll be the Grudge or some shit. Oh well, that's no, the same. Oh my god! I'll be Frank. Voldemort. You could be uh, Freddy. Similar. Krueger. I'll be Annabelle. <gasps> oh. oh. Like like those scary movies. Oh, you, Annabelle. Oh, you, Annabelle. Oh, you calling the spirits so again? The I'll be Bitch, the yours is good. The fucking Grudge. No, the the ring. The ring. That's a good one. Annabelle's a good one. What should I be? Annabelle. I'll figure it out. Oh my god, the ha- it has to be like really like those like really the scary, scary. scary. I'll be the girl from Smile because that bitch was scary. You saw Smile? Smile? I haven't watched oh, I haven't it. Seen Smile, Smile yet. How did she look? She was terrifying. I haven't seen. I Smile. have not seen it yet. That's a scary movie. <sighs> you watched it? Yeah. I'm shocked you watched it. He came out. And he was like, "That's." I'm scary. actually shocked you watched that one. I watch scary movies. I, just, oh, I know because the last episode you were like, talking about Hocus Pocus. She just goes back home praying. So I'm and this one. No, yeah, I just want to hear this like really scary. Praying, isn't? I haven't had a scary it's movie where scary it's like man. to the point where I have to play the wheels on the bus go round and round on my car because I'm so scared. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and I'm praying on the way home like, oh my God, you know please don't take me now. You know where men Oh, I hate that movie. feeling. Mm-hmm. Wait, so smile. Wait, so you're going to be that character. Elizabeth is smiling the whole episode. I like, I know it's it's not a costume. Right? It's, it's not a, a costume, is it? No, it's kind of uh, like it smiling. follows. Like it's yeah. It's, we really gotta think there. this through. So, um, I keep forgetting. We'll figure this shit out. We'll figure it out, y'all. Because it'll take us Don't a whole hour just it. to figure these costumes out. I know oh how we're over here just putting it in our head. This I was gonna no, no, let's not gonna do. It. It's okay. Huh? No, it was just me rambling through all these costumes in my head. Too. <laughs> like, we can go through all these things. Like, I'm like, thinking, like, we gotta make it big like that. We do gotta one. go off. We, we should go off. 100%. That means we need to start planning now. Yeah. Not, yeah, yeah like not like today. Get, like, let's do girl. that. The, your favorite scary character. Okay. I like that. I'll be That's Voldemort. Sick. Huh. Okay, period. All right, ladies. Does so, anybody have any anything eventful that happened this last week that you think would be cool to spill or talk about? How was your week? <laughs> 
Yeah, well, how was y'all's week? Eventful. Bitch, I feel like whatever the fuck was happening last in the last episode, I was tripping the day after, literally tripping. I almost fell off the fucking stairs. Tell like crazy shit. Like I had like like things going the, on back the, to back after the first. And I wasn't over. even thinking about it. Like I told Brian, I'm like, okay, there was like three different scenarios where like it's almost like something was wanting me to get hurt. Does that Gosh. make sense? Where I was like, okay, I wasn't th- like I can't explain the scenarios. It was very like little, but once I added it up, like the last one, like I literally like tripped and I felt like on the steps, but like I I almost like literally oh fell off the stairs. And I was thinking, like, what the fuck? Like, three different scenarios right after this episode. Maybe I was tripping, but I did tell Brian. I was like, dude, I don't know if I'm, like, overthinking it. But the fact that three different scenarios happened today after this episode. And I didn't even try to give it the attention. You know, I was very, Mm -hmm. like, whatever is here leaves. You know, very positive vibes. But y'all didn't feel like anything followed y'all. I had a funky week. I can tell you that much. My week was upside down, girl. Yeah. Yeah, it was horrible. My work i never had like such a shitty week at work Stop. like literally where i didn't want to help anybody and i was like maybe if we did attract something we shouldn't have Bitch, gone into because like, now you're saying this your final destination moment girl i was like what girl, is happening absolutely not i went home and i literally just i didn't put too much mind into it i just i was just praying and like no i just don't i ignore Can you it say your fountain yeah. how it went like on and it was today off? what that was today yeah I hold went. on i didn't hear about this what Fountain. so it was creepy because my office at work is really like zen mm-hmm. and so i added like real plants um you know like a little fountain with like stones and water running through it and when i was gonna leave i was in a hurry so i was like i'm gonna go get some water i'm gonna turn on my laptop and computer and i'm gonna turn off my fountain so i like remember like it's a click like a little switch and i turned it off and i even looked at it and i was like it needs water so i'm gonna come back i come back and the first thing i hear is a waterfall like like the water and i was like why oh. the fuck are you on i was literally oh my like God. i was literally like i stopped and i looked at it like for a while and i was like no fucking way <laughs> and then i was like okay like you can't yeah. face me you can't touch me i'm covered mm-hmm. in the holy blood of that's Jesus exactly Christ. and praying. i walked away and i was like go fucking bother someone else because yeah. yeah. that's exactly the vibes i i, I kind of like you know had that that moment i was like i told brian i was like this is weird like this is a third you know, thing that happens today. Mm-hmm. But I also did the same thing. I was like, I'm covered, you know, with the blood of Jesus Christ. Anything that's here leaves now, like, period, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, very that positive vibes, you know? Mm-hmm. And I mean, here we are, girl. What's up? <laughs> What's We're still up? standing on Covered by the blood of Jesus Christ still Amen. and will forever. Amen. Amen. Amen to that. Amen. Period. So, um, since we were talking about our costumes being like a joke or whatever, like how we like look funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think we could like clown each other. You guys have you guys seen the that one TikTok trend that would be like alguien aquí, alguien aquí, blah blah blah. blah. Alguien aquí. Alguien aquí. I think that would be so funny to Come play with. demasiado. <laughs> what do you mean? All of us. All of us. I, honestly, I want one. Clarify one thing. Not in the Peter room. with his I, two garlic sleeves. On I eat a lot. <laughs> I eat a lot. I honestly, like I've told y'all before, I'm a binge eater, but she did get the garlic sleeve. So <laughs> I love how you guys just invented a new name for it. Literally, that's after Peter it is, calling honey. it the garlic sleeve, I'm going to that. <laughs> that's actually really funny. And that's not even what I knew what it was called. I thought that's, I was just. It's the gastric. The gastric. <laughs> what would we call garlic? Like, oh what, my is, God. what is garlic? Why did that come in there? <laughs> I just, garlic makes it skinny, you know? Just yeah, <laughs> done. <laughs> That- okay, so now we're gonna continue the thing. Alguien so, alguien we have to like roast each other. We could yeah. anybody if anyone's thinking about roast. anything, you can say it. Alguien de aquí. Alguien de aquí parece condón. Does it have to be in Spanish? It could be in English. Okay, okay. Alguien aquí is two shades way too light of their foundation. <laughs> All of us. <laughs> <laughs> All of us. <laughs> Bitch, I'm not good at this. Arigan had no budget for her costume. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't you know. Arigan was on a budget. Was all <laughs> I can't think. I'm not good at this. This is shit. a hard game. Why is it so hard to just say Arigan something? I don't know. I can't Arigen think of anything. I, said, I can't even comió. think. Arigan Aki la pensa en las patas. No way. Is it me? Is it me? Arigan Aki no se lave well, la I boca. I have my shoes on. Oh. Oh. Lave la boca, who? I don't know, ah, I don't know who doesn't brush your teeth. Alguien de aquí. 
Mm. Adrian Nakis doesn't put on prim- primer. Ooh. Primer? I didn't primer. put any on today. Adrian Nakis doesn't put on sunscreen. Ooh. Y'all, y'all, none of y'all put sunscreen on. I, mm, I put sunscreen. Oh. Yo, I I can't think of anything. I can't really? think of anything juicy. Adrian Nakis really? gets too much Starbucks. How do you call a ball yeah. cap? Yeah, Adrian Nakis gets too much Starbucks and they get anxiety after. <laughs> Oh my god. And there's like, like all shaky like that. Alguien de aquí no puede comer. No, that's true, Queen. <laughs> She's like, Alguien de aquí ain't getting diabetes. I'm scared. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Arian Naki likes her ass eight. Ooh. Oh, she's speaking for herself. Oh, mm-hmm. oh I thought it was me. Spread him open, honey. Yours <laughs> again. Alguien aquí. Alguien aquí. She can get you. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm trying to get you. <laughs> like, what? I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you one way or another. Girl. <laughs> Come on, Halloween <laughs> Town. I mean, Focus, Focus, Halloween Town. Okay, Halloween okay this, uh, this ain't Disney Channel, okay. girl. <laughs> You're like, sponsor us, Disney I know. Um, <laughs> why are we, like, we Alguien don't aquí is sponsored by McDonald's. Alguien de aquí is fucking hungry, bitch. I can't Argen wait Argen for that is to come fucking through. starving. I'm fucking hungry. I'm hungry what are you girl. guys' go-to McDonald's orders? McNuggets. I think, you know what? I Call me... Real cheap, I don't care. I love the McChickens and like They're barbecue iconic. sauce. Mm. Like I I'm love sorry, McDoubles. light mayo, please, and maybe some heavy lettuce because I'm a skinny girl. But uh, <laughs> heavy I'm a lettuce sleep girl, oh, oh, garlic sleep girl. Like, <laughs> you gotta put some lettuce in I there. I hear honey. the door. Bitch, speaking of hunger, I think. Okay, so he's my is a nugget here. guy, but I'm like a like I'm a McDouble excited, type of guy. Order. But I like my extra oh, pickle. Oh, bitch is here. It's here, y'all. Oh, no, for this. We are starving. <laughs> I'm so Thanks, hungry. Babe. Oh my god, period. Um, Anthony, what's Anthony. up? What's oh, up? I feel bad what's eating up? in front of Karina. Oh my god, oh my You're god fine. no, Karina, care. what the fuck? Somebody I'm already mentioned. able to do soft food, but I'm just don't want I honestly, I don't really care right now for it. I had like right before this, I tried mac and cheese. Okay. Like I'm, I'm fine. Her. Who knew the Adams family loved McDonald's? Mm-hmm. A little mukbang moment. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Here, Here you, you go, Gorge. gorge. Mm. Anybody want like sauce Thanks, or gorge. something? Yes, what do you guys want? Barbecue ranch? Why does it, Why is there only one ranch here? Oh, just kidding. Mm. You want ranch or barbecue or both? Uh, I'll, barbecue. The cactus I'll take ranch one. plant flea market thing. It's it's already um, I think it's already done by the time they're watching this on because it's like selling out like crazy. Mm. Oh, what? Wow. Um, mm. the adult happy meals. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We're, all eating. We're like, wait, I just can't wait till McDonald's collabs with Nicki Minaj. Iconic. It's gonna be a pink bag. <laughs> oh, that'd be so that'd iconic. That would be so iconic. A pink, what? A pink bag. Oh a pink bag, like the bag is pink. Iconic. And it's like a thicky yeah, Nicki like figurine. Imagine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> iconic. That would be everything. That would be so iconic. When you press it, it says like what's that one song that she came out with right now? It's like freaky girl or something. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I They're can lick it. I can ride it while you push mouth, up huh? inside. She, that's her song. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is it? No, that's one's not her song. But I think like she like redid it. Sing right? it. Yeah. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. I don't know what her singing. Mm-hmm. So since we're the Adams family, should we do like some family therapy? Mm, yeah, mm-hmm. that'd be fun. Okay. Do we have anything we want to talk about? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. What? I need advice, bitch. <laughs> you need advice on what? Okay. I had never. Fucking had a yeast infection, right? Like ever in my oh, life. Oh my land time. Tell me why a month ago a bitch got a little fucking itchy. <laughs> <laughs> Not only that, I she was a little swollen, mama. Oh my god. <laughs> Here I was like, I know this pulsing is not normal. That shit was <laughs> extra juicy. She said, huh? she said there was no. white shit gonna be out of there and everything. <laughs> no. She said cottage cheese. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> y'all, we're fucking and eating, no, please. I'm just saying because I have had one in the past. I'm just gonna, like, you know, it should happen. Because I was about to choke on a fucking chicken nugget. <laughs> <laughs> Literal no, chicken nuggets on, coming out. So, <laughs> so um, a girl didn't want to go to the y'all doctor or anything. Dip, yeah. <laughs> Why was the fucking fly inside my ranch right now? <laughs> Why is it only on my food? I swear, if this fly don't leave, more tissue about to kill it, right? <laughs> Okay, let's, okay. let's start all over. Oh, all over? No, that was just, funny to say. Just... No, 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 no. Oh, I just meant like, all right, let's, 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 let's go back to going. your yeast okay. infection. So I was getting a little fucking pulsy in there. And I was like, okay, I bitch doesn't want to go to the Drop doctor. Drop. So, yeah, so I got like Monistat 1 or whatever the fuck that is. Like, you know, you get at Walgreens and you put like an ovule up there. I was like, oh my God, it was so awkward, right? Uh-huh. But it got better within a few days. So <laughs> I told my doctor, I was like, no hay pedo, like, yes, estoy bien. <laughs> <laughs> yes, estoy bien, mama, or whatever. A few days later, then she vitamins. comes back. Uh- and I feel like I've been like, and I got Monistat again. And I've been like <laughs> on and off, on and off. So I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with me, right? What exactly is a yeast infection? So I go to, <laughs> I'm at the doctor's and apparently too much sex. Too much sex. Too much sex. Too much sex. sex. I guess he like, he like fucking gave me a yeast infection. Because too much dirty sex. Dirty sex. No, I shower like every dirty time. Dick. I imagine yeah. I'm not the type Who's of, wet and gushy no, no, over no, there. No, no, <laughs> no. I ain't feeling red. I'm not feeling red. <laughs> no, I'm actually the type to sense. literally shower right after. Like, I don't fuck with that shit. Like my oh, yeah. pussy has never had a yeast fucking infection. Oh, yeah. Right? So I was like, I've doctor, please help me. What is going on? And he's like, yeah, it's fucking normal to have it for a month <laughs> if you don't fucking come to a doctor because Monistat is a weak ass shit. Also, like when you're pregnant too, like you're more prone to yeast infections. I, I had one in the beginning. With yeah. Mia. yeah. I should have been like, Argen Aki has pussy in her, had his teeth in her pussy. That's what we should have said. Argen Aki has a yeast infection. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Imagine. That's all bad. No. no. So... She's getting some help, and until so you get one, like you know, like that you know, shit is itchy, it's like, like hurts. Inside. It hurts. Like it you want to scratch. Peter's like, it hurts. and you like, scratch so much, Myra. You scratch so much, and hurts. you start like hurting yourself, like like you get cuts. <laughs> so when you, I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh. Wait, what? Cuts what? <laughs> yeah, because you're scratching so hard, you start like tearing like the skin. You know, like when you're like so itchy, like with a um, like that bitch. In your arm, like a mosquito bite. How people say, like when you start biting that shit, like imagine that mosquito <laughs> bite in your lips. Imagine in your now you vulva. Biting your own lips, like, bro, what? <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. What? What, bro? Not, he's, he's <laughs> I was gonna say he's smiling, like like biting the fuck out of it. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, muerdele, muerdele. Comete lo papi. A la derecha, a la derecha. Ya mero, bro. Comete lo papi. Arrancate la. Arrancala, like, oh, oh, you immediately notice because like it itches so much. Period. Oh, so you knew something was wrong because um, cottage no cheese was coming out. <laughs> so when the cottage cheese was coming out, you were like, <laughs> no, something's bad. No, there's no I have to call Dr. Phil. No, there's Dr. no Phil. Phil. <laughs> nothing. No, no, no. Oh, I can do no that. Nothing with it. So. It All is, I can tell so you. Is, can we clarify? Is there cottage cheese? <laughs> Yo, there's different there types of. All I can tell you: yeah, never this. Google. I've, I've had, yeah, yeah. Never Google your symptoms. It will tell you your time. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Don't you there's ever so Google your symptoms? <laughs> there's different infections. Like there's like bacterial vaginosis. That's pretty common. And then yeah. yeast infections. I feel like they have similar symptoms. Yeah, because mm-hmm. the last time I had, yeah, I was I was pregnant, and I remember in my case, mm-hmm. I told my doctor, I'm like, I gotta have some kind of infection because something smelled funny. Mm-hmm. <laughs> something was a little, you know, everybody has their natural, yeah. you know, odor. odor, but this was a little different. I was like, I like we know how on. like vagina has a certain smell. Yeah, every yeah, like everyone has their natural body body odor, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. that was something different that I I literally told my doctor I was like I think I have like something and I think it was a yeast infection. Yeast infections Damn. usually are scentless, like the discharge. The vaginosis one is like the scent one. That's what so my doctor maybe said. it was that one. I don't know. My doctor confused remember. me because I was like, but I don't smell nothing. Mm-hmm. I have discharge, but I don't smell nothing. And he was like, "Yeah, it's a yeast infection." Okay, so maybe they're she's like, like different. "It's it's puffy, it's hot." <laughs> it is puffy. What? It is literally like that, Peter. Puffy and hot. <laughs> Period. Me, I'm just, like, I'm just getting like, <laughs> me, like what? me all the time. I'm puffy and hot. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, but that's my that's my fucking problem right now. But you know what? I feel like what do you Most, get? Like antibodies or like, antibiotics? I, mean? I don't know. A pill. It's I mean, a pill. It's like you a said pill. It hurts, huh? Yeah, it hurts bad. But you know what? A lot of a lot of women are gonna relate in the comments because we all get. Uh, yeah. used to true, we all get I even it. think like sometimes I don't don't quote me, but I uh, Adam and Eve doesn't that sometimes give you like. Yeast infection yeah, shit, you, like even like douching or all kinds of stuff. Like what like Adam and Eve? certain <laughs> loops. Adam and Eve is like Summer's oh. Eve. Wait, wait, oh. Summer's Eve. What's Adam and Oh fuck, no, wrong Adam one. And Eve Adam a, and Eve is the fucking wait, the I toys. Have, no, the toys. Mm-hmm. Oh no, I was talking about toys, sex toys. Yeah, sex toys. Oh. Sex toys. Um, yeah, even thongs wearing too Summer's much. Summer's Eve. Yeah, you're, and now no, I know what you're talking about. I, Summer's Eve is like the. Which one that Trisha talks about? Adam and Eve. Oh yeah, no, the sex toy. Sex toy, right? Yeah, yeah. Anything could cause it. Even I think even like having sex and not peeing after could cause a yeast infection, right? Ooh. Even a lot of hurting things. your. My doctor said, oh, hurting. He's like, where did it start? I was like, in like my clitoris. Period. <laughs> he said he's might hurt me like from rough sex, and that <laughs> irritation could cause it to like grow bacteria because they're like hurting. That makes sense. So, because if a thong, imagine all the roughness, girl. Ouch. Yeah. With them so, stories, I don't doubt it. Girl, and then if you don't clean them thongs. <laughs> like, I do what? clean. I'm a very clean person. <laughs> I'm like, a very what? clean person. Like, I, I literally shower right don't after Don't get Krishan on me. Don't get, I didn't call you dirty. <laughs> just gonna, like, oh, Krishan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I know we, we talked about Krishan last time. I started watching Baddie South, Peter. I was like, holy fuck, I love her. I right? Love She's everything the girl They're coming calls out with, her oh my god how she called her she called her dirty mm-hmm. and she like literally threw her in the sink <laughs> i was like oh Wait, my god give her a bath it was so you funny said, you say i'm dirty i'm gonna clean you up that's what she said and she cleaned her up she mm-hmm. literally cleaned her up that shit was crazy threw her in the bath in the in the fucking <laughs> sink but and everything what about you karina what do you got going on um i was just gonna add to that how like yeah like you know uh, i know we're like all cracking jokes and stuff y'all you know but like for real, yeah, we all get yeast infections. We all get even like bacterial vaginosis. Have you guys ha- ever had bacterial vaginosis? What is that? That girl, you me for that I don't know. I okay, what is that? I had that years ago, like <laughs> one time, and I had what to put that? like a gel up there. Bacterial vaginosis. Okay, so you let me search up what these are both. Hmm. Can we talk about dick cheese? <laughs> oh shit! Wait, wait. <laughs> okay. So what? yeast infection versus bacterial. I was vaginosis. like, y'all talking about all this. Remember, we were like talking about dick cheese once. We all got drunk and we were like, what? Yeah, What's dick cheese? That, okay. <laughs> so that. a yeast infection is. Why is this doing this? It's painful urination and intercourse. <laughs> bacterial vaginosis is also <laughs> pain, painful urination and burning. Um, <laughs> bacterial vaginosis, a strong fish-like or foul-smelling odor. So I probably had mm-hmm. bacterial vaginosis. Okay. Um, white discharge, itching, burning in in or around the vagina, a bacterial infection, yeast infection is yeah like the painful also mm-hmm. white thick cottage cottage cheese like discharge so mm-hmm. yeah. Oh, Peter, can I get some? Um, redness or swelling of the vulva. <laughs> so yes, mm-hmm. that's very normal. Mm-hmm. Uh, vaginal dryness, itching, a oh, yeasty o- yeasty odor like yeasty yeasty. And f- it's a fungal infection. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. They're very similar. My doctor said, it, like, you could only tell by swabbing or by the scent. I mean, like you said, there's different ones. Sometimes you probably don't even know you have it. <laughs> no, yeah. Bitch, yeah. I knew I had this. No, you. Though. I was like, dying. Bacterial I like, vaginosis. I, I will like, tell you, you will know. She's not okay. <laughs> She's not okay. <laughs> like, sweetheart, I know I put you through a lot, but. <laughs> I know something's wrong. She's like, I know mommy put you through a beating, but you know what? <laughs> Give it back. Daddy, please. sorry. Respect. <laughs> Papi yeah, needs you, well. You, you will Was definitely it? know if you have like, well, bacterial vaginosis, you'll know. Cause, like, She's like, Papi didn't like, mean to hurt you. you know? Daddy and, uh, said he's sorry. So, so what about like? dick cheese? <laughs> Did he kiss it and make it better? Or like, what happened? <laughs> he does kiss it. So he does make it better. Did they tell you guys to like, you can't have sex for a I certain amount? I can't have sex. Like, How even long? if I wanted to, bitch, How long? she's How long? pulsating. <laughs> no, honestly, you know how it says, like, urination that hurts? My urine doesn't hurt when I pee. It hurts because of my me scratching. It burns. Okay, so oh. how how long has it been going on it's for? It's been going on for, like, three weeks. Oh, my God. That's why I told you him. Have, I was so like, you, can't, you haven't had sex for three weeks? No, I have, but because it gets good, and then it gets back to... 
And he says because <laughs> the, my monistat was like controlling it, <laughs> but the the bacteria like keeps coming. Is that the it's like candida. Monistat? I think it's called like candida bacteria. Well, that bitch keeps coming back. So that pill fucking kills the bitch in like an hour. So maybe bitch, that's what it is that you. So there's kind of cheese coming out of your pussy, and he's fucking you. <laughs> there's kind of cheese coming Wait, out of that. So I think. What How it do is? you know there's kind of cheese coming out of my pussy? Were you <laughs> no, there? Were no, you fucking no. me? Really? No, no, Were you fucking me? Period. You know what I think it is. You know why it keeps coming back. It's probably being like, like <laughs> irritated. It keeps the getting nuggets? irritated. Well, and it like, oh, okay. Did you get your Wait, nuggets? Wait, so yet? it's Liza, you know what I'm saying? You know, I say you keep saying it's coming back. I'm like, maybe because it, it keeps like irritating again from the. Yeah, it's almost like it heals. And, it and then I get it. itchy a random day. And I'm like, like, what's oh, going on? Like, I don't yeah, know. It's so it, weird. The whole. And yeast there is like a discharge that is not like liquidy. It's like, it doesn't look like cottage cheese, though. It's like, mm. a it's thicker, like thick. It's yeah. like a thicker discharge. And it's almost like, even when I. Honestly, like well, whatever I had that one time, like it was like it literally looked like cottage cheese. I was like, holy fuck, this is to the T, like the yeah, one that see, I had. Mine doesn't look like cottage cheese. But they're all different types of discharge and stuff, mm-hmm. you know. So it's crazy, like and it's crazy because a lot of these, like, it's all about like pH balance for a lot of stuff too. And like mm-hmm. it's a thin line between even products that you're using to wash that and the shower. That's what I was yeah. gonna tell you. This is for all the ladies who are listening. This like, is a you're really not doing good topic. Wrong. This you're is a just, really good topic. You know? He asked me if we have rough intercourse. I said yes. He said okay. Period. You need to slow the fuck down because he's like, <laughs> you need to understand like that's like your part. Like you can't like beat it up all the time. You know. We have an internal <laughs> organ yeah, instead of an external <laughs> organ. That's so, crazy, huh? But he said he said that even the last <laughs> months I've used anything like scented down there. And for five mm-hmm. months, I've been using Vagisil, but there's oh, a I very big much. problem. There's like five cents, and I like them all. Mm-hmm. So, bitch uses all of them in the shower. <laughs> you know what I heard? Um, Vagisil and all that is not good. Because okay. Yeah. You're actually supposed to let your body do what it's got. Like, like discharge on a woman is healthy. It's like literally lubricating. Yeah, it's protecting Mm -hmm. it from any bacteria, all of that. A vagina naturally is gonna have like a vagina scent. I mean of course you don't want anything to fit like anything fishy like infection, right? Or or anything green, he said. Anything green or yellow. But I was like, oh thank you, Jesus. A lot of women um seek vagisil because they're like, I wanna have zero scent, like and not like not even like the normal vagina scent. Is that what it does? And it does. When, if you've ever actually tried Vagisil, yeah, it takes, like, it mm. takes, like, I'm talking, like, even your natural scent, it, it takes it away. Shut what? up. It does. It away. It, you will have zero scent. This but, smells like weed. I don't know what to tell you. But the, <laughs> thing, <laughs> but the thing about that is that it, it, it could fuck with your pH balance mm-hmm. eventually, and then you end up getting an infection. So it's like, and then you have, like, a, a smelly issue. That's so, actually mm-hmm. crazy mm-hmm. that but, it takes your smell away completely. Mm-hmm. It does. Because, I mean, if you're a woman, you know that, like, your actual like um girl even a man man thing. everybody stinks everybody stinks like, like there's like, order coming there's over s- coming for everybody like, like, it doesn't smell. stink it's like but that's scent. the thing with dick right you guys don't sweat? have anything leaking. i don't give a fuck what it is it's it smells down there too girl this one should smell like balls no like, but that's because if y'all don't shower i think i think like a woman like it's like imagine like you guys had fluids naturally coming out like ev- mm, every you guys have a dick it's so an different. external mm-hmm. organ like it's i feel like same. a dick might smell after maybe the balls maybe maybe mm. actually no i feel like well, it's, right. it could still though. smell even after a shower right like it still has that scent of dick yeah. uh-huh. but i feel like a vagina like you can shower and like your discharge is there. It's an external organ. Internal. She, she, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what organ. you mean though. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I know what I mean. She's but lubricating the whole day. If you exactly. guys don't know, women out there, it's normal to have discharge. I learned a lot with this doctor. It's, he tried to explain yeah. we, on our vulva. If you actually don't have lips, it, it's not normal. <laughs> you know, yeah. our lips, our vulva, they actually are like like discharge glands. Uh huh. Yeah. So like those glands are the ones that like release your uh-huh. like. It, you, you're supposed to have discharge. Yeah. And then depending on what time of the month, sometimes your discharge is crazy. If you're like, ovulating, oh, it's like I'm very They did not teach me about this on Big Mouth. Keep going. <laughs> Big <laughs> Mouth, what is this? Myra, me and you <laughs> both, when we ovulate, like, we release discharge. I know we've talked about it. Yeah, yeah it's, like it's a, a thing. Egg white. And it's supposed to actually help, like, it's crazy what the body does, but it's supposed to help, like, the sperm swim faster. Yeah. And, mm-hmm. and like, reach the target. Yeah, yeah, that's fucking crazy, like, what yeah. the body does. Yeah, It yeah. takes one... 
it one, just takes one. It just takes one egg and one sperm. That's yep. crazy. And I, honestly, like I. Even, and that's why we all matter here on Earth. Oh, oh, oh just cry. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Like, no, what? I don't want to cry. No, no, seriously, because like we don't realize that us being conceived is such a miracle. Like million. we mm-hmm. we are we are like one in like trillion, trillion. quadruple trillions. I don't even know what the word is, but like we're like one in a trillion chance, and we're here of being here because. Yeah. literally like all those eggs like if you ever feel like you're not enough or you're not worthy all those millions yeah. and trillions of sperms and you won the race bitch it, it has to be that siblings. exact oh. minute for y'all to get freaky your parents to get freaky that exact minute and time that date because even if people think you could just get pregnant super super easily yeah. you can actually you only have like a one window peak in your month yeah like in your cycle mm-hmm. to get pregnant i know right like isn't that crazy for you to it had to be like around those days you were ovulating and like that one sperm that we were like that we all were champs Mm. y'all we We made it through we were not made it y'all were we no i know what you mean wait what happened we're both we're the a well no we're both but your part is your sperm too because you you mix genes i never thought about that so (laughs) you thought you were just saying even if no i've just Producing. Even though he doesn't, you literally a, wouldn't exist if it's it was just that your actual, one little egg. You know in there. that that sperm exact goes to a fucking exactly. marathon to get there. Yeah, girl, that's what and we're saying. We won the wet marathon. We won. <laughs> we won, y'all. Yeah. That's why we, like, she's saying we matter. Think we about matter. all the siblings you were competing with. <clears throat> yeah, Thousands. and you Five got your place here. Fuck out of the way, bitch. Uh, really? And you got your egg. Yeah. But like, that's crazy because it could have been a different sperm, and you would not be you. Yep, that part. Or it would have been a different egg and you wouldn't be like literally you, like your genes, what you we are. We really, yeah, like they literally say like we're, you're like one in a trillion chance. Babe, this is all conspiracy theories right here because this is where no, everything it's not, goes. This is not a fact. This, this is, is not all. Con- no, it's not a fact. No, are we jumping into conspiracies now? What's going on? No, no, no okay. Okay. Say, I even heard somebody say that even having a twin is like a miracle. <gasps> Like, like the, the whole splits. process oh, was like, like wow. Like the egg splits or fraternal twins. Like you had to like ovulate more than one egg. That's insane. That's, ins- that's crazy. Shit blows my mind. It's crazy. That's crazy. What the human body goes through. Yeah. The human body. Mm-hmm. What well, can anyways, going back to like the fucking yeast infection mm-hmm. I have, <laughs> and that is ruining my <laughs> life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we get it. You're crying. a clean girl. You're gorgeous. When it we- just happens. <laughs> When we, I was about to beat your ass today. <laughs> you guys, you guys have all yeast infections. You're lucky you don't get them. Peter, shut up. At least I didn't have any STD. I'm just kidding. Don't eat me in the comments. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't eat me in the comments. I'm just kidding, guys. Anybody want more chicken nuggets? Peter, you want some of them? No rumors or gossip. No rumors or gossip. HR? I was HR? using vaginosis. Okay, okay, sure. Vaginosis? <laughs> What is it called? Vaginal? And he's my was like, damn, I don't sound nothing like down there, you know? And you know, yo, man, they like their your scent. You know that I was reading that your partner chooses you and it has a lot to do with it, your scent. Shut up. They're attracted to your scent unconsciously. <laughs> I think he was attracted like to your they, lashes, babe. I don't know. I bet you <laughs> anything if, if if we give Brian a roller. It was those titties, babe. It, no, 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 no. I bet it you was anything. Them titties, girl. Oh my I god. I was reading on it, Maya. Guys, we're not letting each other talk. Remember, we had this talk oh, earlier. Shit, sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm saying like let's, let's regroup. Put that in. Excited. All right, let's regroup everybody. <sighs> Quiet coyote. We need to regroup because we had this talk right before we started this episode. We were like, y'all, we were a fucking mess with the last one. We need to all let each other speak. Okay, go ahead and disagree. Let my wife talk. Baby, go ahead. Let my bitch talk. My bitch is talking. So yeah, I bet you anything you could give Ismael a hundred underwear of different bitches and he knows which is mine. Well, yeah, because it's the moistest one. He's like, it's the most obese one. I don't know. No. <laughs> it's the most ricotta like, cheese. Pussy smells different. Yeah. Uh-huh. And your man is supposed to like that Whoa. scent. Your man, your partner is supposed to like your scent. It's That's attracted to him. Well, it's like when we but ovulate, if, we have a more of a scent. <laughs> yeah. Because it could be like another man, like he doesn't like your fucking scent. He's like, fuck, I'm never calling this bitch again, you know? You're supposed to like, be attracted so to So what if you're scent? like the baddest bitch, but your pussy stink? Then he ain't going to fucking keep you around. That's a hard one. Dang. <laughs> She's a 10, but, her, but he don't like the scent, right? Then? Me. She's, She's a, a 10, stink. but her pussy stink. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> it stinks. She this might have bacterial vaginosis, Gorge. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Give her a chance to go to the doctor. Give her a chance. Okay, so um, I don't know if anyone else has any therapy sessions they want to do. 
Oh, we still doing that. I forgot. Their or should decision. we dive into the ones that people uh, submitted online? Yes, they did. Should they, I got some it? some submissions oh, up shit. in here. Because we want to give some of you guys advice. Um, oh, some wow. of you guys um, went ahead and submitted your um, things going on with you guys. And you guys want us to be honest and give you guys advice on what's going on. And we're here for it, Gorge. Um, we are keeping it anonymous. A yes. thousand percent anonymous. No, and can y'all see my screen? Uh, don't look look. can you be like the kardashians when they blur it out (laughs) why all extra what they need to blur is that is that cap line not travis's (laughs) number on my phone i have some hilarious ones y'all okay who wants to go first because i have one okay hold that two percent should i just go ahead and throw one okay go go throw throw yours in throw yours in this one is do you guys fart in front of each other i i feel like that was just a silly one but honestly i feel like not a lot of people well do you do you guys fart in front of your partners oh i thought in front of I fart with I y'all all the time. Them I was like, what are you talking partners. about? I don't care. Yeah, if I'm comfortable. Girl, me, there's partners the out there that are like. Wait, is this good advice? Yeah. I don't even know what the fuck. Or is that just a question? I feel like there's She's some, asking for advice. She doesn't know if it's okay to fart in front of yeah. your partner. Yes, you should. Yeah, I know couples who do, but I'm like, no way. And they're 12 <gasps> years together. 12 years? Girl. Mama, actually, I was farting in front of his mind. Wait, that is a big ass fart trap I'm not judging because me and Brian literally recently started farting in front of each other Dude, that blows my fucking mind and we've mind. been together since 09 it's just a little fart you ain't got yeah girl you ain't got no poop in there it's just, it's just a little too i feel like <laughs> princess is fart like, too that magic of like <laughs> you know not knowing like brian farts now like we're cool with it now but now that you guys do you do you, you kind of realize right you're like oh it's not it's not it's the not magic's not gone it's the magic still there gorge yeah okay. i don't get it so what is your advice mara um do Let it, it rip, but girl. it took me a long time do you guys want to know how it happened i had given birth to briancito my back was killing me and and i was literally in the hospital room and they told me honey you need to like let the gas out because you have this excruciating back pain like you need to like fart it out basically and that was the day i was like well i'm here a couple days with brian in the same fucking room i can't walk out of here because i can barely even walk and i farted right then and there and from there it's history. <laughs> yeah, I literally. fart in front of my man. I fart in front of my friends. Um, I shit in front of Raul. Period. Mm-hmm. Period. Mm-hmm. Like me too. I think it's. I think it's iconic. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Sorry. When you say shit, it's funny because me and Brian were like super scared of like farting. But if like there was a wall, I was blowing it the fuck up as long as there was a wall. Does that make sense? I'm done. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> still hearing you everything, guys, girl. Uh, I don't want to go. It's because I keep talking. Go no, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I this swear, what, this swear is what to God, I was shitting in front of Ismael on like our second date. Period. Period. Because we went in quick, y'all. Like Period. we were already at hotels and stuff. <laughs> so I was letting it rip, and he was there, and we were. <laughs> it's almost like I had to find my soulmate. And I'm like, I could fucking <laughs> fart and shit in front of you because you're my soulmate. Aww. Period. And he did the same, and we've been farting ever since like the beginning in front of each other. Love it. I, love I'm it. here for it. I'm here and for I'm it. And I'm the type of woman too. It was part a lot of people get so scared like to <laughs> fart. Far, for sight. For sight. A lot of people get scared to like fart or shit in front of their mans, but I like to like rip off the band-aid. Even like when it comes to taking off my clothes, I'm just like, here I am. <laughs> here I am. Do you like it or not? I love it. I love it. <laughs> I started farting in front of Raul like a couple months into it. Raul, like I think like literally on the first day too, he like farted. <laughs> Goals. <laughs> He made me feel really comfortable. Oh, I mean, I'm single as a Pringle, but you got to be comfortable, girl. <laughs> <laughs> what is that funny? Oh my God, it's on your fucking What the fuck? I don't need it no more. Girl. Fucking it was literally like all the chicken I gave for a while. So. <laughs> That's another one. There's gorge. people that are different though, because my, my mom, she's the kind like, I've never heard her fart. She's very oh, into herself. Her but it's very like rare. Yeah. So like, and she is the kind too that won't like do it so many times in front of my dad. Mm-hmm. It just depends on. It's weird because I've never heard my parents fart, mm-hmm. and they're like super yes, comfortable no. with each other. Is farting rude? Is that like no. really disrespectful? No, I think just some people are more <laughs> no. like I'm just trying not it. to be in pain right now. <laughs> okay, he's like, okay, <laughs> he's like, I just don't want my guts to pop, girl. Yeah, that's a lot of pain. Oh, so I have one. If you guys ever got in a fight before with somebody and you see them on site, like in the streets, is it round two or just <laughs> are you dodging that and leaving it? Like, um, 
Um, What's in the past is in the past, and you should never know. Like, I don't, no, like a bitch you fucked up in high school. Like she's just talking shit. No. And she sees you and she's like, "Oh, look at that bitch over there." And then it's like, <gasps> "Well, she's saying that. Yeah, it's on site. The fuck, the fuck, like, period. Run it in the parking lot." I feel like I don't got beef with anyone like that, or hold on to Mossad yeah. like that, where I'm like, "It's on site, whatever." Okay, you know what I mean? Just I don't know. Huh? Okay. I feel like if I already fucked you up, you're turning the other way. Mm-hmm. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I like that. No. I like that. What she about when I get rocked again, girl? I mean, <laughs> I feel like round two. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, just no, no, no. I feel like if you already done your justice in the first time and it's already settled, just move on. Like, yeah. just you don't need to jump back into old wounds. <laughs> just reminds me of my mom. But just so flip them off. <laughs> just be like, gotta go. I'm in a better place. <laughs> right. It gotta be fresh beef. Yeah, it's got to be fresh. So someone submitted a few of them. Oh. I'm just going to like read. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, mine's too warm. She right. said, things have mm-hmm. changed so much with my man. He claims it's just work and being tired. And that's why we don't go on dates or plan anything special. But like it's gotten to the point where he even forgets our anniversary and my birthday. And I haven't talked to him so many. And I have talked to him so many times about that. He needs to about my needs as his partner and that he needs to open up about how he feels too but like he's not putting in any type of effort and it breaks my heart because i love this man and we have a daughter together and he doesn't even spend time with her at this point either i don't know what to do at this point because i want my daughter to grow up in a healthy home and not a toxic one i don't know if he's just if he sorry i'm like i'm trying to like go back i was gonna say that was on the question box. it's because she like she said a lot of them oh. so oh, i get it now and then she you put, got let her let her express herself. she said i don't know if he just doesn't care or what but i'm not crazy or overthinking it maybe we are better off on our separate ways i'm just so depressed now we don't even have intimacy intimacy anymore and it just makes me sad to think nothing that i do makes him happy anymore you are better off with somebody that remembers your birthday. Period. He has someone else. I think it's so I don't hard know. I don't because say that. I know that you guys have a kid, but how you say, you know, you guys are not intimate anymore. He doesn't even spend time with your daughter. Um, he doesn't remember your birthday, anniversary, any of that. It sounds like he's super disconnected from his your family, family, which is so fucking tragic. From his family. That is but I mean, like you're not saying like what he doesn't do to you. Somebody else will do that and more. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it's obviously easier said than done, but there's obviously something extremely wrong. Something's with him. wrong. And like something's Elizabeth wrong. said, there could be something else there that could she doesn't be. know about. The thing is that we as women, we have like a, another sense. Like we know when something's wrong. Mm-hmm. Like we know when our man is disconnected and we know when he's just not yeah. in. From what it sounds like, he's completely like disconnected. And what's the other word? He doesn't feel. He doesn't put an effort. No when effort. When your partner doesn't, doesn't put an effort. effort anymore, it is so tragic because you're now at this point you fall into a depression. Those are all red. Like flags. those are all red flags, red flags that he is. I don't want to be like cruel. I know it's hard to say it because I know someone out there is actually like listening to this advice. And, and I know that I said it so like so like what is it so abruptly like he has someone else but i really do believe he has someone else that's just my opinion because of these actions my mom always told me a man will show you his love through his actions and you know they say a man you know eventually he's getting it from somewhere if he's not giving you sex he uh, he's having sex somewhere finding it somewhere he's having it somewhere and i know it sounds fucked up girl because i don't want to be that fucking person to be so like because I know you're listening and I know you're hurting, but you just serve somebody who gives you all the attention in the world and who wants to be with you, who is excited to be with you, to, who gets excited to take you on a simple dinner yeah. for your anniversary. Even if you guys don't have much, a simple dinner is special. How are you not going to remember her birthday? Like, like a birthday, whole like, year, girl. At this point, te vale madre su familia. Yeah. You just don't care to put any effort. Yeah. And you know what? He probably does remember, like, oh, her birthday's today. We just didn't put any effort. Maybe he to doesn't even care. Care to surprise. And I've you heard of people. I've heard of you know, like people ta- say they'll be like, oh, now that he has me, he doesn't care to like you know surprise me or like you know nourish the relationship. 
like sometimes I like when I hear that I'm like okay sometimes like maybe he got comfortable and he's not putting yeah. in effort but the whole intimacy thing like you guys don't, are That's not even intimate anymore that is a red flag because one thing is to not put in effort and just be doing your own thing and then another thing is like completely no intimacy it's like Every person has their needs, and mm-hmm. they have to yes. get it satisfied somehow. And men are very horny. And, she and that's why we're saying, like, it, he's getting it from somewhere. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how long y'all haven't yeah. had, you know, sex for, but... What were we going to say, Peter? Oh, men are very horny, <laughs> so... Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Peter's like, well, I'm pretty horny, like, why? I'm very no, horny it's now. True. Men are really horny. Reason. Like, they're going to get it somewhere else. If they're not getting it with you, he ain't depressed. Like, he's he's somewhere else. I think Adam that she also reflect. mentioned. She also mentioned that she that nothing I do makes him happy anymore. Mm. You should be he, enough. That right there is a red you. flag, and that should be you. more than you enough to just get out. Yeah. And something I always, always, always <clears throat> hear That's from funny. my family, my mom and my dad: don't don't let somebody That'll- show you that he doesn't want you twice. Mm. The first time should be enough, even if it hurts, because once they tell you they don't love you twice, and they don't show you they don't love you twice. That's like too much already. Like that's too much of a time wasted. Mm-hmm. I know you have a daughter. or I don't know if she's a son or she daughter. Said a daughter. It's yeah. going to be hard, but you deserve it your could, happiness too, not just your child. Mm-hmm. You know, it could also, I'm, I'm, I'm raising my hand. Mm-hmm. It, it could also go back to the way she was growing up. Maybe she doesn't know better. Like maybe she saw it from the way her that's mom so was sad, yeah. and stuff. And that's Sometimes. like how that relationship has worked out. And that's you know, so she's, it's that's how, that's how, People get stuck in relationships and yeah. just settle and just are they miserable. See it growing they see up, it growing mm-hmm. up, and uh, it's so sad because a lot so of times. Uh, sorry, what? No. Oh, I was gonna say it's so sad because a lot of times, like you want you want to do it for your kid, and you're like, oh, we should stay together to like have this family for her. And honestly, most people who have endured that, like in their childhood, will actually tell you as adults. I wish they separated earlier so that I didn't have this trauma on my back for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. Cause I would much rather have my parents be separated and have my mom Mm -hmm. and dad both be happy Mm -hmm. than to know that my mom did to watch my mom struggle her whole life and be sad. When have you met an adult that had some serious, like where they have a lot of issues in their, with their parents. When have you met one and been like, Oh yeah. Like I'm glad they stayed together. A lot of times they're like, I wish they would have fucking separated because now I'm traumatized for life. Yeah. Trauma. That's the kind of trauma that lingers, bitch. And a lot of the times, you don't even have to have an example of parents that, you know. No, yeah. It's sometimes, it's just, it's hard. You mm-hmm. know, they have a daughter. And, um, yeah, it's hard know. because of the kid situation. But I know my sister wouldn't mind because she does tell people about her story. My sister went through that. Like, she fought so hard. She What she wanted was for him to have both parents. Like, that was her number one thing. Like, she mm-hmm. till this day cries about it. She wanted that so much mm-hmm. where she did not care what she was suffering. And he could have both. It, it, it's like the co-parenting. They wanted yeah. like a family. They want yeah. a family. Yeah. That's what a mother wants for her child. A yeah. family. I think yeah. that's what makes But at hard. some point, she realized that if Nestor has a, f- a happy mother, that's all he would need. Wow. That part. Yeah. A happy mother. That part. Because she was so unhappy. Uh huh. That's all they need is. She's a happy like, mom. he just you know what though? needs Your a sister's happy very independent. Very independent. Yeah, so. she is. She's a single and mom, and that's amazing because a lot of women rely so much on the guy bringing home the money and paying the bills that they're willing to like deal with just about yeah. anything because he's putting a roof over their head, and that's so fucking sad. Because a lot of women yeah. will go through hell and back and stay with him because he's putting the roof yeah. over their head, and that's fucking sad. And that's. <sighs> and that's why we have to like get our fucking bag, bitch. Yeah. You get cannot your rely bag, on anybody. Mama. That's why You're the sacrifices. Start your own business. Oh, your sacrifices your sister made, girl, made her a stronger woman today. So, and I'm Period. not gonna say it's easy. Thank you, Peter, for that because I do. We don't acknowledge single moms that, that much, and we should. I honestly, it's not gonna be easy. A few days ago, Nestor asked her, "Like, why do my friends have one home?" Oh my god! Oh my god! And he, he and he was just curious. He's like, he's like really smart. He's like, no, mom, it's okay. Like, don't get sad. Like, I just want to know. And she was like, we're just different. You have two beautiful homes. We're just different. We don't have to all be the same. And he understood that. He's like, okay. Like he like you know, mm-hmm. I much rather that 
than him, like in Father's Day or Mother's Day or whatever, not have to, like, somebody to call dad or whatever. You know, like, so I do thank God, like, even though they're separated and stuff, like, he at least has him and he has her. Mm -hmm. So Healthy co-parenting. Yeah. Well, he's a piece of shit. He doesn't co-parent, but... But she, she's a, she's a hell of a mom. So Period. that's all a kid needs, a happy mother and father, but mostly a happy home. I like have another no one. fights, no oh, toxicity. I have another topic that they want to talk about. So you guys adulted really fast. How do you guys like to give people who are just jumping into like adulting, you know, working out? They're all 18. How do you guys feel like adulting is? Like, how do you adult? I don't, I don't know. Sometimes I still feel like a kid. I hate adulting. I don't like adulting either. <laughs> Bitch, like, we really just got thrown into this shit. When did we sign up for this? No. One thing I can tell you is, like, no one knows what the <laughs> hell they're doing, girl. Nobody. Gorge. Nobody. No one knows, Gorge. Nobody. Literally. Even when, even when you think you know what you're doing, you don't know what you're doing. You don't. Exactly. You fucking Never. know. And that's why this shit's, like, it's crazy. You're throwing a, a mixed coin up in the air. But just keep going. Just try working your job. Keep like doing you. Like, the fact that at 18, you're considered an adult and you have to, like, leave your house and all that bullshit. Like, what? Mm-hmm. Like, you're yeah. a kid. <laughs> I, the other day, I saw, like, some mom just smacked, like, an eviction letter to her 18-year-old son. Like, okay, it's time for you to get out. And I felt so sad. It was on TikTok. I was like, girl imagine i like eight, i thank god i didn't go through that but there's people out there that go through that so it's really sad yeah. and some people are like you know they're a kid gonna jump into adulting paying rent and all that it's like oh, wow it's hard dude it's hard out there Mm-mm. but just keep going girl it's just keep adulting going should there's be no taught rush. in fucking school like right they didn't teach us none of that like teach us how to make like do taxes <laughs> the and all worst shit. part like, of adulting yeah. is fucking taxes i hate yeah. them teach me how to make this money girl that's Bills. what i mean, in general Mm-hmm. Having to buy your own toilet paper, your own toothpaste, everything mm-hmm. adds like, up. Everything doesn't. Everything, girl. Everything. You can't just throw on an extra thing of downy because you feel like it. No, <laughs> yeah, you gotta like, catch. Like, like now I understand so much, and it's just funny. Like you start learning as yeah. you grow, but yeah. Like I remember one time Karina needed toilet paper in my house. We had just moved in, and I didn't have any. I was like, <gasps> we ran out of toilet paper. My mom like, doesn't oh, buy shit, anymore. Why it's okay. I, I ended up using your socks. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> your handkerchiefs came very in clutch. Um, I had a yeah, crush on a. Oh, oh, sorry, oh, I'll be right. Right. Elizabeth hasn't gone yet. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> um, I have one. Is it okay for your boyfriend to follow a girl who posted semi naked pics on IG? No. Um. Ooh. I feel like. Go ahead. Like Semi-naked. naked. Okay. If y'all ain't close, if y'all ain't friends, there's no need for I you to I feel like when friends. you follow just random people, like, it's okay, you know, to okay. follow random people. Yeah, like... As a woman. Okay, so, like, I mean, it's like it a double standard, It just depends standard, because though. there are certain women on Instagram that have an image, like a sexual image, where, like, they're just posting... That's fine. ...but yeah. naked pics. And if yeah. he's just going to follow her because he finds her attractive just to follow her, that's kind of weird to me. I okay. let his mind follow people. I wouldn't mind. I don't think I he does, but I wouldn't mind it. It's if you're liking that fucking picture, that's where you're disrespecting. Well, that's what I don't she said. Like, she's I think following. that's what she means, though. Like, yeah, you I think pictures. it just depends. If you just happen to follow a bad bitch because you like her content, mm-hmm. cool, you know? And her content might be aspects. You know? <laughs> yeah. but, so, if, all, if there is a girl, her content is ass pictures, and you just follow her, you'd be like, whatever. Okay, you're right, you're right. Yeah. I, I'd well, be mad. I like, if I, if, 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 yeah, I know what you mean. I guess it just depends, like, if he's following nothing but like a bunch of like, like of course what do you see in that mutual? bitch that you don't see in me yeah like of course like our mutual friends like yeah like of course like our mutual friends like I have friends that will post like provocative pictures we're mutual friends of course he's following these mutual friends that we know but mm-hmm. also I feel like there is like like he knows also like if there's a friend that her mm-hmm. ass is like on the picture like he's gonna probably know not to double tap that picture <laughs> I get that does that sure. make sense I get that 100%. you know what I mean like Duh, it's like yeah. one of okay. your friends posting okay. like a half naked picture you know his mind's not gonna like it just out of respect yeah like I feel like like for sure I have friends that could post provocative stuff and Brian would naturally know not to like it cause it's it's like Weird. it's provocative but and even that I'm like no this is a mutual friend like we know this friend I wouldn't mind that yeah no, no, it's, for sure. it's, it's somebody You're like right. a stranger that that is pure like you guys know those type of Instagrams where it's like yeah. their content is like very sexual, pure ass pics, whatever, titty pics. I feel like if it was overpowering like his his followers, then that would be like, wait, what's going on? But yeah. I, I feel like I, I wouldn't care if he follows them. I just don't like the pictures. That's weird to me. Well, it's kind of the same thing like with your man watching porn. How do you guys feel about your man watching yeah, porn? I love it. On his own without you? You know what, Rose? not a porn watcher, but like. 
if he did, I genuinely wouldn't care. Like, it's literally just porn. Everybody watches porn. I think everyone watches porn at this point. Just let it play so in the background. Know what I mean? the fifth. You I learn some like, tricks yeah. and shit. If it's, you guys are watching, but if he's doing it behind your back, like, you would be weird. fine with that? You mean alone without yeah. you or behind yeah, your yeah, back? I find that kind of weird. I find that weird. Because hold on, hold on, hold on. We need to clarify. They should have a pause. to say. Pause. Him watching it alone without you is not the same as watching it the behind your back. Exactly. A, a thousand of course, he's doing it. I know he's my watches porn without me. Like I know he does. Like who doesn't? Like I watch porn without him sometimes. <laughs> like <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like, like but like, if it's, like, he's not hiding like it from me, yeah, exactly. He's if he's hiding, hiding it from me, then it's different. Yeah. I mean, in all honesty, I don't even think Raul watches it because whenever I wanted to watch it, he's like, I don't get it. But if he did, if I like opened up his tab and, and I saw that he was watching porn, I'd be like, "Oh, you were watching that?" And I would laugh. I wouldn't be yeah. like mad about it at all. I wouldn't either. It's normal. I've, it's I've so normal. I but I just think it. it's the problem is that I'm if they're not watch it together. I, I, if I'm being honest, I would uh-huh. would be weirded out that he's doing it behind my back. A thousand percent. That's, behind yeah. your back, behind yes, your back, I get it. Or without you, you would you don't like it. I mean, it you doing him not doing it without me is doing me doing it behind my back because why are we not watching it together? But no, that's not that's not the same because sometimes i'm like laying down on instagram and i could and he, he says i'm gonna watch and he's there he's next to you though you're like, like you're, and i hear bitches moaning you know, yeah <laughs> but he he doesn't have to be next to me oh. if i'm at work he could watch it i would not care oh. i feel like porn yeah. is such a natural like I, people watch porn it's like one of those things that like sometimes you're not even aroused you're just like should i just i'm watch bored I, I literally watch porn when i'm bored i'm bored let me see you know what yeah i watch some crazy you know what? Shit. yeah i'm yeah. bored I'm bored. There's nothing like, to do. And like, I've done it before. It's like where reading like, a book. I'm going to fucking play with it's myself. Like reading a book. <laughs> it's like reading a book. Like. And sometimes there's not even an end goal. It's not like you're going to do anything to yourself. or like It's not really like attraction. It's just like, just I've had there. times where I'm like, I'm in the restroom. Mm, Instagram's a little boring. Mm, these TikToks are not doing it. Let me just go. Mm, and I'll oh, just look. like watch something real quick. Yeah. And watch some ass. Girl. And now there's watch like. Watch some cheeks getting clapped for a couple minutes. And now there's Twitter okay. porn out yeah, there too, which is insane. Yeah. Insane. I'd be going on my fucking Twitter looking at funny memes. And then boom, some girls getting no, okay. so that's yeah. okay different scenario though but like but if we're all found out I, I would be like you're but mad not, what but but curious not just watching it if you were like playing with yourself and you finished and then like okay yes that's weird that's so i'm not gonna I'm be in the closet hiding say, from him no wait what that's what i'm inter- what's what i'm saying when i'm oh when you're playing with yourself or like what? i'm not gonna be in the closet playing with myself hiding from Raul. like when i know when i see people watching weird. porn like i'm assuming they're playing with themselves not always no. No. sometimes you're just watching it for shits and giggles okay. sometimes i'm like literally okay. watching it in the bed like, and then he's mine is watching scenario. a movie he'll walk through my bed because you don't have to walk through to get to the kitchen and he's like oh babe you're watching porn i'm like yeah and then he, he comes up and he like wants to, we start getting but like why don't we watch them right now ah, I'm just kidding play it on the big screen <laughs> he's my icon I have only right? fans y'all can watch my only fans <laughs> <laughs> no I just don't think it's like a big deal if they watch it without me that's just me yeah. though I, I maybe I care. was already thinking like like full blown like he's you're at work and he's at in his bed jacking off to porn no that's mm. what I was interpret like that's what I meant but then again, I'm, I would be naive if I think he would he doesn't jack off and I'm not there. Yeah, that's why I'm saying like, like I would I'm think pretty that sure someone's be watching off, porn, like, they're playing with themselves. For the most part, they're doing something. Yeah, but like, I feel like that's cares? again, you got to jump in the conversation of the relationship. Who cares, like, why aren't though? you dicking me down? Why are you dicking down yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why it's not the problem because you know he still it, it, watches and jacks off, but he's still fucking me. Yeah. Okay. So like maybe yes. that's why it's not yeah. a problem that's for me. Why it's not a if he for chooses you. just jacking off the porn, problem for you. Period. Like if the if if he's like obviously not fucking you and he's like jacking off to porn, that's a problem already because mm-hmm. he's not fucking you. You know. Yes. Yeah. Now he just wants to do that. That's weird. It just depends how you look at it. For me, I wouldn't I be comfortable, it. but I, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, everybody's different. Yeah, everybody's different. Yeah. I mean, I know different. what you mean. Like if I picture Raul like masturbating to porn and I'm like there, I would be like. What, Am I you there? You know what you I mean? go to the supermarket roll just finished because he watched porn yeah I, it just I don't depends know. how you it look just, at no, it that's different that's i say different. that i don't you, care but also he doesn't really watch it as so long as know. you guys have an agreement where it's fine there should not be an issue but yeah. i i have heard stories of when a girl discovers that her man watches porn and she'll make like a really big deal and like almost divorce him and i'm like okay te pas, estás pasando de verga yeah, like I'm like it's just porn, girl. Am I fucking? I but just then everybody feel, am I weird? No, because I feel like weird. porn is like a like a thing. 
It's okay. It I is thought, a thing. I thought everybody watched porn. Maybe I'm fucking wrong. No, you're fine. Yeah, it's so fun. graphic. Anyways, <laughs> and I also don't want guys people to think that that because I'm fucking private about my life that I'm judging the fuck out of you guys. Oh uh, no, we're not. Like, oh my god, I'm just no. like no. just private. You my rug, please. No, because. Like, You've been my friend like, for like this a is long like her, time. I like, know you just don't seeing Pan- Pandora's box open up. Like, she's like, I'm here for all the tea, but I'm yeah. just like shy about my shit. Cause yeah, like I know the comment, the, the the sex talks. Like a lot of people have. I'll see comments like, "Oh my god, Myra just wants to get the tea out of everybody," and she's so quiet about hers. And that's it's, okay. it's not necessarily that because we plan the episodes before mm-hmm. we we film, so we know like questions we're gonna ask. It's just. I don't know. I'm just like not it's a private person. That's it. I, and it's funny because even like the the what I have said, I'll be like, oh my god, did I say too much? And I'm like, wait, oh my god, people out here really thinking I'm not saying anything. And I'm over, I'm over here thinking like, oh my god, I said too much. It just depends, <laughs> you know. But no, it's fine. Since Myra, <laughs> since I can remember, I've just been she's way been, more. She's always been private. Yeah, been private about which is stuff. fine. It's honestly, shy. fucking which is normal. A lot of it's people. okay if, if it's no, it's okay. Not, it doesn't make you a boring ass person if you're no, private about your not. sex life. No. A lot of people just would actually. It out there. <laughs> a lot of people would probably see this and be like, "Pinches cochinas, why would you guys talk about your sex oh life?" No, and so, there's nothing it goes both ways. Yeah. Like you know, like like that doesn't mean nothing happens in bed too. I feel like there's a. Like, you know, no, like, yeah. girl, yeah. I feel like people think, like, if you're private about your sex life, that you're just this boring bitch and no. you don't get down to dirty in bed. No you know one's I mean? thinking that. Like, nobody. So, some of y'all thinking that shit in the comments. <laughs> pues que chingue a su madre. I just want to put it out there. And thinking, no. Not it's everybody's okay. dirty and has to be a freak, period. There could be some And you could be a freak people. and be privately. quiet. Yes. Yeah. You could be a freak, be a freak in the sheet. Because like, I know, Myra, Myra, I bed, see bitch. it in you, imagine. Because I know you're a fucking yeah. freak, bitch. You're just quiet about it. Quiet. Quiet. And, and who gives a fuck what people say? Like, if you're in the comments talking shit, I mean, you need to get more sex than you do because you're over here talking shit, bitch. Bye. Like, I don't want to see nothing negative in the comments. I'm just like, it's my chin. Wife in the streets, freak in the sheets, period. Period. Okay, let's see another one. I know, like, random, but I was telling Brian, I'm like, oh my God, it's crazy how I'm so private about my sex life. He's like, he told me, he's like, it's fine. Nobody got to know. Like, as long as I'm pleased, why do they? And I was like, that's true. Yeah. He's like, you're doing everything clearly. I mean, I'm. Well, he doesn't true. have a complaint about it. He's my wishes. I was a little more private, wasn't? Stop. <laughs> so I know he about to be like Elizabeth. What happened, wasn't? <laughs> no, it's okay. What's going on? Wait, I, I feel like I'm cream. in the middle. <laughs> I'm in the middle. I don't want to like go in detail about my sex life, but I also like to join in on like the girl talk. Like I will go in a little bit more detail when the cameras are off. Like when oh, we have sure. conversations. Oh, yeah, girl. I'm. A, I think I. I over like analyze. I'm like, oh shit. Like who's gonna watch this episode? That's what I think of. Like, is my little sister watching this episode or my cousins watching this episode? Like, shit like that. I think that, about my co That I overthink. <laughs> but, like, with friends, my I think violence. I definitely, op- like, said, you know, it just, y'all gotta remember, we are doing this fucking on camera, y'all. Please, literally fucking imagine. No, I know. But, y'all you know, wanna see the real thing go on the OnlyFans. Peter's period. like OnlyFans <laughs> slash Peter Brand, right? <laughs> Queen. Anyways, imagine. Anyways, subscription. Okay, so can we? Should we? I do forgot we were still giving, giving family advice. <coughs> I, I thought this was a good one. Sorry, <coughs> okay. Okay, go ahead. Someone said having trust issues because of circumstances in the past. So I'm assuming it has to do with like infidelity. Ooh, that's a good like, one. I heard circumcised. I was like, what? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> go to the doctor. I love not being so circumcised. So advice on having trust issues because of circumstances in the past. <sighs> See. It's really hard to like say when you really have not gone through that. You know what I mean? Because like me, my instincts is always like, nah, fuck him. Like once a cheater, always a cheater type mm-hmm. of thing. But then at the same time, like I'm, we're not in that situation, so it's hard. It's hard to say. So yeah. hard. But I think about that shit, and I'm like, it would be so hard. Somebody else has said like, how do I trust someone with infidelity? Like how do I learn to trust them again? And that's a question that I want to ask you guys in the comments oh. because truly, like, I actually would fuck me up for. Ever, I, I know that I know the type so of person I am. I'm petty. I'll bring that shit up ten years later. Remember when you fucked yeah, that bitch? Yeah, like I don't know. I, it would just, I get that. Yeah. It would just ruin my fucking I've life. You know what? Size? Never gone through it. But I see been. relationships like that. So and it's like, yeah, they do bring it up years later. It's like, remember when you fucked her? Like uh, randomly <laughs> when they're drunk. So it's like, yeah. and yeah. then they get into it, and then I don't know. It's just like, I just feel like that's I not healthy. Or not bring it. It up. would constantly like eat me up. And I wouldn't look at you and be like, you love me, right? Yeah. Like, But like, do you love me? It would be me? hard to, you know what I mean? Do you love me? I feel like when you cheat, 
especially if you forgive it, the guy knows that you forgave it. You know That's what I mean? Hard. Yeah. So it's hard because it's just hard because I also like don't want to give so much input. I haven't even lived that, so I don't even know because I know it's so easy for us to be like, oh my god, <laughs> fuck him. I don't know like y'all's relationship. And look I don't at know. Chloe. Yeah, like Chloe Kardashian. Uh, like, no, no, wow, no. Chloe, you know? Chloe también. No. But and and she's not. She's her shit's out there because she's a celebrity. But there's people, but, yeah, that have regular lives that live the same thing. But she's a perfect example of how it should be because. How it should be. Mm -hmm. I know it's going to sound crazy, but Wait. when you forgive somebody, you need to genuinely forgive them for a chance to make it work. Oh, yes. Yes. So how yeah. many chances are you going to give a person, girl? Yeah. You, but that's what I mean. Like, it's different. She's like, well, I'm if not he's her. A, if he's a serial killer. Like, serial killer. A serial killer. A serial, killer? A serial cheater. A serial cheater. Like, he's a cheater. Like, there's, you can't sleep. Like, you're going to have to sleep with one eye open. He is a serial but, if he cheated one Cheater. time and he messed up, I've never gone through this, but I would think that you have to really give him another chance. Like the corazón. I understand yeah, that. To work. When sometimes they fuck up once, you know, yeah, I get that. Like repent and that. then like they But then again, I might never do it. Right? So I don't you, know. Right? There's people that tell you, like they'll tell you like yeah. this happened. But like literally like Chloe's situation, he is a serial cheater and he will always be. It would be like a serial a cheater miracle if he's very different than someone that yeah. made like a one time fuck up and yeah. they knew it was like a huge mistake. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's hard because fuck, like <sighs> I'm like Even that. big <laughs> on that where like, I really don't know what I would do. I wouldn't either. I think I would. Loyalty. Like, I'm jail, just like Karina really? said, I'm really fucking petty too. And Oh my god! I mean, you like, never never let it go. Say, ahora sí. yeah. like, I would never I, let it go. I know I would, I would never, never let, let it go. go. I, I would yeah. never let like it go. Like your penis was inside another fupa. <laughs> Maybe not even this just that. This fupa is like, your princess. Oh uh, yeah, and you like you were inside yeah. another princess. Fuck her. Even if, if you didn't, you had even a if, makeout section, yeah. sec session. But it, imagine he they rubbed her. up on you, like bitch. Mm -hmm. oh intimacy is such I think a big it, thing. It, it depends on how far it gets to because if you're already fucking, you know, you know exactly where this was going. You went there. You went <sighs> all the way. Like you, I it like, wasn't like a little kiss. And you're like, like, what the fuck? No, you like, were fucking. Some people say like, so sad. Even though the guy cheats, like he loves his partner. He just has a problem. Am I the only one that thinks otherwise? I mean, I just can't I think bear you to could understand. Love somebody and cheat. Yes, I believe that. See, I can't. I don't believe I don't, that. I don't want to believe I, like, that. I know, I know you don't love me. I mean, I know that's a possibility. I know bit. that's a possibility. It's a possibility. I'm not saying like I would be like, Brian, you people love me. People who have commitment issues, But I'm right? saying like. You hear people like that. I'm saying that it's very possible for you to love somebody and cheat. Mm -hmm. Because temptation is real. Yes, that part. Yes. I mean, sometimes I like we love you, our parents and we've hurt them in the past with certain things we've done. I okay. Mean, it's just, it depends. A very different example, but you know It what depends. I, mean? I feel like if you, you get with people you love, it depends. I feel like there's certain people that are like, they are just, they're not meant to be like, is it called monogamous? In a monogamous relationship? Oh yeah, uh -huh, uh -huh. where Where they try and they really do love this person and they're just like, they're not meant for that and they're just always with these other people, but they do have love for that person. I understand that, but if 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 your man like he is monogamous and now all, all of a sudden he always do like I think it's he a could probably love he has love for them, but maybe he's not in love. Yeah, yeah. I should be enough if you love me. Yeah, and that's if, why we don't throw the word love around here, mm -hmm. girl. And if they're a sex yeah. addict, then they got it. Like got if I ever potential. heard yeah. or he's when I came and told me like I cheated, my heart would in Sink that moment be into shattered like when you yeah. hear about when you hear about like i would not be able to i would not physically even be able to like like it's how you and how you see like what love means to you because there's people that could love somebody and not respect them it's like open relationships you know what i understand if you're both on the same page and you're both yes. like yes we're both openly like fucking nice people but i've seen situations where like the guy's open with every other bitch but you're not allowed to fuck any other guy yeah. You do see that shit and you're like, what the fuck is that? You're just, you just like, what? why? You yeah. see that too. Like, I was watching a fucking TikTok of Blueface Baby. Yeah, I'm coming for you. Isn't it? <laughs> he was fucking, have you seen that shit? When he, when he found that shit on Krishan Rock's yeah, yeah, phone? Yeah, that, yeah. Calling her, look at this tatted hoe. She's a fucking slut. Like, humiliating her in, on live. Mm. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. Sit the fuck down, you fucking motherfucker with three bitches at all times. 
I'm glad she fucking did that shit to you, motherfucker. Exactly. I was gonna say I've told Double Brian, I'm like, if so you ever cheated on me, I'm doing it right back to you, and I'll make mm-hmm. sure it's, it gets you. Yeah, like how dare him get mad? Like why are you mad that she did this one time when you've been fucking all these other bitches? Like, like don't, that same I'm gonna make sure I send pictures and all, <laughs> a whole ass video and the whole fucking Kiss video. The same. She's like cream pie and all. And <laughs> like I feel like I would be very cream petty about it. And then if I want to take him back, I'll be like, well, I did it to you, too. I guess we'll fucking figure this shit out. But even then, that's a disaster. But and there's like, if I was, that's I don't want to I was being petty, the house, like, you know what? I'm going to take you back, but I'm going to make sure I get my fucking turn, too. There's people that you meet. I mean, not that I She's would. like, you go watch. <laughs> I'll make you fucking watch. I'll see what I I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I'm As you fucking I should. He's going to cheat on me. That same night, bitch. That uh-huh. same night, and it ain't gonna be if, one. Even if you know you don't. <laughs> it ain't watch. gonna be one, girl. I'm gonna make my moment count. <laughs> You're like, I'm gonna do what you watch on. Yeah, what is it? Called? It's gonna be oh, a this fucking gonna be gang a gang bang, bitch. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna set her, set this him a gang bang. Gang bang, I can't. <laughs> Cut the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. You're like, nah, make the cameras roll. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. Keep we rolling. recording. Keep recording. It's all Peter. Well, that's why I'm saying, like, if he's my ever told me he was cheating on me, like, I would be shattered. So, like, shattered people go and do some crazy shit. Mm. Mm -hmm. The most damage. That That laugh was the most spooky laugh I've heard this month. (laughs) Can we use that for the intro? Imagine. Karina. Karina. No. Karina, we use Elizabeth's laugh like for the intro. Like, what? Oh, I need to move this bitch. I'm literally laying down around this guy. <laughs> I know we got so comfortable. I know I'm like, oh, back to I'm like, girl, sit Speaking down. I see my face lower and lower on the camera. Like, Damn. <laughs> last episode, y'all didn't get enough of me this one. You guys don't have any last ones you want to go over? Yeah, any I have interesting a lot. Ones? I feel like it's fine. We're having a blast. Huh? <laughs> right? Uh, uh, it's just hard. Like, oh my god, I have a long one I didn't read. I have been dating this amazing <laughs> guy for three years. We're in a healthy relationship and we see a future together. Uh-huh. The problem is his parents. Ooh. More specifically, his mother. Uh. His mom doesn't want me to meet doesn't want to meet me or uh. have anything to do with me. We're both two university students and plan out to plan to move out together after we graduate, which is coming up. So how do I deal with this difficult mother-in-law? Advice much appreciated. She's not marrying the mom. You're not marrying her. I get her, girl. how it could be complicated though, because you know. <laughs> Are you saying here we go? I was trying to play with. Sorry, I keep going. No, you're here. fine. Oh, what happened? Look, I was trying oh to play with. Oh Kevin. shit! It's like stuck to my oh baby my God. hairs. Peter's skin is literally. He's being circumcised right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Is now you're giving me um. Deadly. What's that green guy? Oh. Frankenstein. Frankenstein. When you take it off, it's giving Frankenstein. Yeah. <laughs> Look, it's the face for me. Oh my god. Oh my god, you are giving me Frankenstein. You're like that. a handsome Frankenstein. You look good, Peter. I'm I love dead, it. Peter's guys. like, why didn't I take it off? Why did I just play it like this the whole podcast? All right. Queen. <laughs> <laughs> what was he saying? Who wants to start? This is a good one. This is very. I think you're not gonna marry her. I, I just don't understand why mothers, mothers, why why mother in laws have to be toxic. Like I really you think guys about are it. Really lucky. I don't, oh, <laughs> no, yeah, I too. feel like I, don't, I love you, mother in law. I just feel like as like a mother in law, I would really consider like why would I want to make someone's life a living hell, especially like my, my son or my daughter. Like that's their life. Like that's their yeah. partner. Like why would I want to make their you know like why? And she doesn't even so know her. So why is she judging her? She doesn't even want to meet her even know her it's like you're already starting beef before she even meets you like you're already giving off a bad impression so when this girl actually meets you she's already gonna have her guard up with you yeah like girl i, I can't coming up. have you guys ever had Don't. toxic suegras Sorry, guys. My huh? yes <laughs> if you see my scams yeah. Then, hell yeah please that's disregard horrible. I know that's why I don't like fa- meeting family because it's like oh my god oh they my god. fuck up the whole relationship like you have some horror thing. stories well my but ex like I feel mom? like his parents were a big issue in our really? relationship I didn't know well, that well because they didn't like the fact that he was gay and they blamed oh. it all on me that I brought him out of the closet what yeah that's why well we you never... didn't fucking drag him out I like, know oh. that's what I'm saying and like I would go to like their little family parties and stuff and everyone would just give me like an ojo so I would be like I gotta go oh god mm-hmm. absolutely not so, and it's, but it, that's like a bar- part of being like in a gay relationship I guess I don't know 
Man, yeah. being a toxic mother in law, that's a disease. Yeah. I'm not going to get well But soon, also, there's bitch. just toxic people out there. No, not it's everyone's going to. Toxic metiches yeah. because. You cannot please everybody. Everyone's always going to be talking shit. I think this mom has been toxic from the start and now she has a son and she's protective. I feel like some, it's just who they are as. There's people that are more like metiches than others. And I feel like those people, if you are whatever you don't have any kids yet and you are just toxic you are 100 percent going to be that toxic mother-in-law <laughs> Period. yeah like come on now I, I, that's what that's how that's i see it like because anybody like metiche like that it's like i get it moms are very protective of their children but there's limits of their too. sons i would want my kids to tell me if i'm being sons. toxic if i'm being toxic i want to like, fucking let checked. me know yeah i yeah. you know it's very known though for mothers with their sons to be like another level oh, yeah. yeah they're like super protective like another level yeah so because even my sister and she he's six mm-hmm. she's like i really want to not be that mom mm-hmm. but it's like <sighs> it's this feeling i get through my veins and he's only six she's like i just it's hard i get it but and you want the best for them too it's yeah. like i've told brian i'm like if brian Cito had lived i would 100 percent. i mean i wouldn't be metiche but i would want him to be with a the a best. woman that respects him oh it, uh-huh. it, you know it you depends on the circumstances you know like that suegra <laughs> you sound like my suegra <laughs> i'm beating up a bitch i'm like why yeah no. it depends on the circumstances if my daughter is dating a piece of shit you better believe i'm gonna be that suegra yes i think there's certain limits I think if a suegra is just fucking metiche for no fucking reason, like, yeah. girl, you are getting in, you're telling me how to fucking suck his dick, how to cook oh for him, God. how to do this and that. <laughs> Bye. But that's the problem, though. You know how Karina right now said, like, if she's with a piece of shit, like, I would be that person. For a mother, they're never enough. Mm-hmm. That's Ever. it. That's like, true. they're never going to be enough for your kid. Because you're replacing her. In yeah, a way. like, it's just that simple. You could I, cook for him. I you're just not the enough. The never going to care enough like I cared for him. It's all up to the man, girl. If you're watching, because you asked the question, so I hope you're watching. The man, it, it, it takes a lot of the man to make that relationship work when there's a mother in law like that. He needs to let her be known that she's his queen, that she's never going to be replaceable, <laughs> but that she is a no longer his life partner. Yeah, that part. He's got to be standing. She don't got to worry about it. I'd be like, take care of it. You're the son. Oh, yeah. You're the Get son. You go and take care of it, and then I'll go I to the next I would be more mad at him, like, check your fucking mom. Yeah. <laughs> My like, girl. He needs to check her. Because <laughs> I have an amazing mother He's mother-in-law. like, all right, well. <laughs> I have an amazing, amazing mother-in-law. I love her so much. But she, I work for it. Yeah. I work for it. Like, I know she loves me, and she would literally give her life for me right now. And I would do the same for her. <laughs> but it took a while yeah oh my god it took a while and like it's just because she explains it to me like you really want the best for your son yeah like you know mm-hmm. <laughs> and also guys it didn't help that they're a really christian family and my crazy extra ass like huge lashes titties out the first day they were like <laughs> the mother, my mother-in-law probably got a fucking panic attack or something and she She's was like, like no, 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 no 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 She's like, no, 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 no. Yo quiero una muchacha cristiana. And she said, yo siempre oré, Liz. She's like, Liz. She calls me Liz. She's like, Liz, yo siempre le pedí a Dios por una mujer cristiana para Ismael. But even then, like, you were like... I'm going to listen to what she said. She's like, I just didn't know it came in all shapes and sizes and all forms. But So, like, I'm a Christian woman. She said what she prayed for. But with big titties. But I'm not... With big titties and big lashes. But I'm not what... What yeah, she it. would expect, she would expect from a Christian okay. woman. I get that. So she's like, so in a way, I got what I prayed for. It's just you're yourself, and I respect that. Mm-hmm. So you As know, you should be. Yourself. It's just. Can we talk about my ex, the other mother in law I had? Jesus, she was crazy. Pinche loca. Tell about the time she called and she thought you was. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him about that Myra, crazy can you please toxic. do it because. So I, got the, I got the energy. I got the energy. Let's just make it quick, y'all. We are oh, here like two hours. Oh, well, how long are we even recording? How long are we even recording? I have no idea. Perfect. Oh, yeah, oh, okay. No. Perfect. Not that bad. I thought we were at two. Damn. This is going to be a good one. Let's I like this, this is a good ass episode, yeah. bitch. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> so, 
you were over at our house and All she was calling though. you. I think like she was just very like, yeah. What was she calling you for? It was three in the morning. I don't know what she wanted. I don't know what she was calling about, but she heard <laughs> us like in the back and she's like, ¿Y, y qué tan tarde con esas muchachas que eres lesbiana? Uh-huh. And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Myra snatched the phone. Didn't and... I say something like, usted bien cristiana, usted pero bien es cristiana es un pinche demonio or something like that? I was like, how dare you? Like, See, that's, that's when I, she called herself Christian. They call themselves the Christian people. Now that I'm like a little more um, educated on the word of God, and on his word and what he came here to do and how he saved he saved us and how he came and died on that cross for us, mm -hmm. I know for a fact. Usted, señora, necesita ayuda. She was <laughs> awful. She, she was toxic. Like, the fact that she was blowing you up, like, why the fuck you were hanging out with us? Call me lesbian and oh, shit. Yeah, like, I heard stories. She, she can't like, be praising God in church and hallelujah and be talking mad shit about every, the whole world yep. when you come out. That whole family is just disgusting. It's just she's a hypocrite the brother I, is disgusting I, I feel like I wish I had the balls that I have now para mandarlos a la verga well, tell them right just now. did no, I, uh, I was like the brother is disgusting you're watching this like, shit like you're disgusting disgusting people you're like, vile the brother used to say lies about me that about like disgusting shit I'm like trash I'm like, just to make him mad I'm Absolutely like not. I would never like and he believed it all the time he was crazy like la verga <laughs> this is my man now. <laughs> this is my girl now. What's up? What's up? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> She's on site. round two. What? What? You gonna pull up to my house again or what? Uh, <laughs> remember he pulled up looking for her? Oh, he she's in the closet. I know she's this in the closet. Me. He pulled up tea. to my fucking house and he was like, I know she's here. She really wasn't there. <laughs> And then even my mom answered the door. My mom answered the door, and she she even told him like, "Si quieres te puedes meter a buscarla. She's not here." Uh huh. And I, I think he got embarrassed. Here. I think he got embarrassed and left. But like my mom even told him like, "You could dead ass come in here and go into the closet. She's not fucking here." Because he was acting like he was really gonna go in there and look through these fucking doors to find you. Ridiculo. Break down walls and all. Ridiculo. And I remember I was like, "Damn!" And you were like at the mall. You weren't even there. No, I was hiding from him. She was getting her Where hair done you? at Starbucks. I would have had because that was the only place that he didn't know like where she oh lived. Oh my god, he was crazy. House? I remember I used to stop. No, at in and out bitch, she would roll up. And my manager at the time, he was like fucking six four, three hundred pound guy, tall, baseball, baseball bat, and all, bitch. You come again to my store. And I'm gonna. We've gonna all had face. a little toxic exes. Uh, We've had some toxic yeah. ass exes. Did he tattoo your name after you guys? Uh, he tattooed like a whole letter in my no. arm on my face. Like after you guys broke after, up. After, no? yeah. yeah. He really thought, he really thought that was gonna be well. it. Huh? He said, "I'm getting her back." <laughs> <laughs> She's I wish mine now. Well. I wish she is Mike, now happily married. I'm a woman of God now, and I wish him well, and that family well. I just far away from me. Hear them. But She's like, I, I'm in a better place. I honestly I don't, know. don't wish anybody harm. So I, I take oh, all the absolutely. best of back. But like, ven lejos de me. And I, I hope one day, like, God finds it in his heart to forgive you guys for all the stuff you guys said about me and stuff. But honestly, I wish you well. No, no bad vibes. And just far away from me, Rizan. Period. Mm -hmm. That's it. And that's I feel it. like that's it, period. Yeah, it's I like, I want one, you to right? eat, but not at my table. Yeah. Yep. You but I'm not going to let you starve. You can't eat this pussy. Just not this ass. Well, that was a good one. Oh, shit. I was like, I'm reading another one. Was that it? Was that it? Elizabeth, I'll keep, she wants to keep going, Queen. I can't, I'll add one just for spice because I wanted to add this one in. So, um, I have, so these are two girls, I guess. So, this is a girl. I have a really close girlfriend who I kissed recently, and it's the first sexual experience I ever had with a girl. What would you recommend from the first time? That's kind of sad. Wait, what? Wait. Any advice for those experiencing with their sexuality for the first time? Oh, she's experiencing oh. with her sexual. So she's never kissed she's a girl. No, she's never mm -hmm. kissed a girl. And the oh first person she's kissed was her best friend. And she's experimenting <gasps> with her sexuality. Okay, for the so first for time. her to say that, she she like felt something with it, right? Yeah. Now. yeah. They're they're confused. You go for it, girl. Go, girl. Oh, you be yourself. Thing. Tell your Who friend, cares? you know what? Yeah, I, you, girl. Tell your friend, hey, did you like the kiss? Because I kind of liked it too. Yeah. yeah. Like, Go off. Be yourself. You never know. Be we yourself. live in a time, thankfully, that it's getting a little better for the community to be express yourself. yourself and be yourself. I mean, we have amazing people that 
were not afraid and had courage to be themselves and that's something that and i'm sure it has to be is hard respected I'm sure. i feel I like school is really hard especially when you're in school you can't be yourself in school that's like mm-hmm. you get bullied and stuff but girl <sighs> fuck everybody just be yourself girl you hold go, hands just you're gonna laugh about high school anyways like yeah. high school and shit like after that that's when life begins go get your girl that's get all i gotta say girl, honey. get your girl okay i have one and it's super sad so i thought we would i i, I hurt my heart I'm legit 20. No, sorry. I'm legit, I'm legit 30 and I have never been in a relationship. What's wrong with me? Sad face. Aww. Aww. There's nothing wrong with nothing. you, queen. There's something wrong with everybody else who doesn't want you. That's yeah, hard. literally. Like, you what? know what? Sometimes being antisocial is a thing and p- some people just don't realize it. Like there's people out there that naturally just love being homebodies. Like mm-hmm. you don't got to go to a bar every single time to go meet somebody. Like, no. Yeah. You know, maybe, like, ask yourself, like, there's nothing wrong with you, but ask yourself, like, do I go out, socialize with people? Sometimes you need to step out of your shell. Yes, have I yeah. stepped out of my shell? Because there is somebody exactly. for you 1,000%. Yes. Step out of your shell, girl. And that there's part. other people looking for different things. Just because you yeah. hooked up with him that one time doesn't mean that's going to be the love of your life. I like, love that, Peter. <clears throat> you know that what I mean? Part. Si eres flaca, hay alguien para ti. Si eres gorda, hay alguien para ti. Si eres Feo, I am para ti. Si eres bonita, because feo y bonito, it's all about the perspective. Yeah. You might think somebody ugly is beautiful, and somebody thinks mm-hmm. that person is ugly. Like, <laughs> yeah. there's somebody for absolutely there's everybody. For all of us. You're literally yeah. not the problem. You're Society the problem. is. Maybe try, like Karina said, to step out of your little comfort zone. Do do some baby steps. I think if you step out of your comfort zone, you're gonna be shocked at how many people are willing to seek you. You just mm-hmm. need to step out of your comfort zone. Stop being mm-hmm. that shy girl behind the glass, you know. Speak some. Break free gorge. Break free gorge. <laughs> <laughs> Twerk a little. Shake mm-hmm. some ass a little. Shake some ass a little. Flash somebody. Like, right? <laughs> Go to Jerry Springer. Right? Get a Casamigos bottle. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all, this was a really fun episode. It was so it was good. A I hope lengthy, you guys enjoyed. It was definitely. A lot of advice. Long. A lot of therapy. Yes, a lot of yeast. Yeah. <laughs> <But> <laughs> a lot of, There's definitely some cottage like, cheese on the floor. A lot of, a lot of yeast. yeast. A lot of he said there's cheese. a lot of cottage cheese on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> I hope yeah. you guys definitely giggled. <laughs> and cheese. Oh, oh, and and cheese. Oh, I hope you guys God. creamed and giggled. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and cried and all. <laughs> but thank you guys so much. And we'll see you guys next week on the last episode of Skinny Tober. Bye. Bye, guys.